everyone, Dr. Susan Brown, Director of the Center for Better Bones. Today, I want to talk to you just a few minutes about you got it stress. Just like this woman, I bet many of you have felt extreme stress at many times. Stress actually has a very detrimental effect on bone. For over 30 years, I've been working with individuals to help them maximize their bone health, and I would say practically every other day, someone asked me, say, could stress be the cause of my osteoporosis? And recently, I reported to you in one of our Better Bones blogs that indeed now the scientific articles are talking about how stress-induced osteoporosis is a real phenomenon. The stress situation works like this. What we know of it so far is that there's a response in our brain from thoughts we have in the hypothalamus that sends hormones, chemical messengers to the pituitary. The pituitary sends messages to the adrenal, and the adrenals produces cortisol. Cortisol is one of our primary stress hormones. It's actually the get up and go hormone that protects us from wild animals in the forest when we're attacked. But if we're under the stress response consistently, we develop the production of too much cortisol. That cortisol causes inflammation in the body, uses up our precious nutrients and wears down bone. So the gist of stress reduction is to modify the way we think about things, modify our response to the life, to all of life's complications and all of life messiness, enough so that we do not produce too much cortisol and we have a balance within our nervous system. And this is where we tie in with today's discussion of the 12 poses for yoga that Gina developed for you. In the Exercise Evolution this week, Gina was showing you Dr. Lawrence Fishman 12 poses for yoga. These poses of yoga for osteoporosis, he has shown actually build bone and he's done an internet study showing people who did these 12 poses built bone. And my point about this is not only are you going to build bone if you do yoga, but you're also going to relax your nervous system. You're going to reduce the cortisol response. Like recently I was looking at the medical studies. Every two weeks I review all the new medical studies on bone health and several of them this period were about the stress response and particularly about cortisol. For example, this first one talked about how the cortisol we produce within our body, not the cortisol that we take like in the form of prednisone, but just the cortisol, the excess cortisol we can produce through our thoughts and our emotional responses can actually have effect on RNA genetic system that actually damages bone, causes more bone breakdown. And there's other studies just looking at stress, how it produces, how we produce cortisol in response to stress, and how that leads to both depression and low bone density. And the final article I picked up was a really fascinating long article on all the nuts and bolts, all the technicalities of the biochemical signals that go through the body when we're under stress and how that affects bone. My point is that some exercises actually increase cortisol, like if I run 10 miles and wear myself body out, my body out, like I'm running like if some tiger were chasing me, I produce cortisol and the body has to settle down from that. Those exercises have their benefit, but personally, I really appreciate yoga, tai chi, qi kung, because they actually reduce cortisol in the body. They do not cause an excess cortisol. They calm the nervous system and they develop a balance and a harmony within the whole body. So I'm suggesting you're interested in a, in a resilience, in lessening this aggravating stress response, and in building bone, do these 12 passes for yoga, these 12 yoga postures for osteoporosis. Let me get that straight. You will enjoy them and you will relax and it will be very good for you. And finally, let me say, if you really, really want to dive a little bit deeper in this concept of stress reduction into creating resilience, into yoga and meditation, come join us for the Love Your Bones, Love Your Life retreat. We're doing it in May, Himalayan Institute on the East Coast in Pennsylvania. That's actually an active yoga center. I'm going to work with everybody's case individually even before we go there. This is your real opportunity to take a deep dive in building bones, better body, creating emotional resilience, and having a lot of fun. I hope to see you there.